All right, we're going to do some stuff, um, how to draw and deal with subtracting fractions and making, yeah, subtracting fractions. I don't want to give away any hints. Okay, so first we need to draw the two fractions that we're going to use. Um, let's draw the five sixths and talk about how to draw that. I'm leaving a space here on purpose. Something's going to go there. Let me draw my five sixths. It's never really perfect or anything, but whatever. There we go. So five sixths. Drawing sixths is kind of a pain. So for this, I'm going to divide it in half first. And then after I've drawn halves, what should I draw in each half to make it into sixths? How many pieces does this need to have in it? Three? Awesome. So once we have the halves drawn in, then we draw the thirds of each half so that it looks like pretty evenly divided sixths. It's really hard to like just straight off the bat make sixths, but that looks like sixths, don't you think? Yeah? Okay. So, and I'm going to color code stuff, so I'm going to start with the five six being like this and shade in one, two, three, four, five of them. So that's five sixths. And unlike when we took away stuff before, I really do need to draw the one fourth under it so that I know like what um, my words are escaping me what we're trying to take away from what okay so we're trying to take away one fourth so for fourths you just do halves and then you do halves of the halves which isn't too bad so that looks like fourths we're going to color code him Okay, as is, can we take away the one-fourth from the five-sixths just like this is? No, okay, we can't, okay. I don't know if you all can hear in the video or not, but I have students here and they're answering, but sometimes their voices don't come out too clearly. So here we have the one-fourth that we're taking away from the five-sixths. So um, we can't take it away. What do we do when we're adding or subtracting fractions to make it so that we can t add or take away one from the other. Okay, so we need to find a least common denominator. You can find any common denominator, but definitely the least common denominator is going to be the most useful. And the least common denominator we need, and I'm, I'm not going to write all these words out because it just, I, I can't deal with it. The least common denominator, which happens to be equal to something that we did earlier in class. What's the LCD the same as, you guys? For the It's the lowest common denominator, but here's the denominators. So for the denominators, what what's that other thing called that we found before? You guys remember? LCM? Yeah, it's the least or lowest common multiple. I forget which way you call it. Okay, and I'm going to review what we did for LCMs a little while ago just to see if it sticks with you guys. We've got the 6 and we've got the 4 and 4 is 2 times 2 and 6 is 2 times 3. So there's our, um, what's that darn thing called? Greatest common factor is actually two in this one. It's a pretty straightforward one to do. And then, so the lowest common, least common multiple of six and four is the lowest common denominator of sixths and fourths, which is really hard to say. So we've got six times two for the lowest common multiple or four times three. And either way, the least common denom lowest common denominator or lowest common multiple is 12. Okay, and what's really kind of cool is that um, for the sixths, we need to add or introduce a 2 in the denominator, and for the fourths, we need to introduce a 3 in the denominator. And the way to do that, um, so that you're not messing with the actual quantity involved, is we need to take our sixths and turn it into twelfths. So we need to make that into twelfths. What do we do 
to our sixths to turn them into twelfths. Okay, we multiply it by two, but what do we multiply by two? The fraction, the whole fraction? The denominator and what else? And the numerator. So we actually have to multiply not just by two, like you don't multiply the whole thing by two, you multiply it by two halves, which like we've talked about before, is a one. So we need to, to find the common denominators. We actually have to multiply by a one with the one in terms of the thing we need to make the denominators the same. So, and what we're doing is we're taking each of these sixths and breaking each sixth piece into two halves. So here's one of the sixth pieces. This is so hard to say. I'm like lisping all over the place. We're dividing that in half. We're dividing them all in half. So we're showing the two halves of each sixth. And now, voila, all of a sudden, instead of five sixths, we have ten twelfths. Magic. Okay. So then for the fourths, we're going to do the same thing. The fourths, we're missing the factor of three to make the twelve. So we put in a factor of three in both places. And we take each fourth and divide it into thirds. So we go bam, bam, that's divided into thirds. Bam, bam, that's divided into thirds. Bam, bam, that's divided into thirds. And bam, bam, that's divided into thirds. And then all of a sudden, we see instead of one fourth, we see three twelfths. Okay, so lovely, fantastico. And then one of the things that I like to do next um, is I like to say, okay, now that we've made everything common denominators, I kind of want to draw the whole darn beginning thing again to go at the way we've done subtraction since the, we started doing subtraction. And I'm going to try to draw twelfths. Please forgive me if this is a mess. I'm going to try to draw the twelfths because now we've made the common denominators and I think I can now make twelfths. I divided it into halves and then halves again to make fourths and then I'm making them each into thirds so that we have the, the five sixths equals ten twelfths. I'm going to do that the way we started it and it was here. Oh, sugar, that's not there. You guys don't see that. That didn't happen. Yeah, it's barely there. Tell me you can hardly see that. I'm not good at coloring in the lines, which I know you guys don't find shocking at all because it's just not my thing. Okay, so there it is. Now we have our, our five sixths, which we turned into ten twelfths. And now what are we being asked to do? What's the operation we're doing? Subtraction, good. Subtraction, or what's the other thing I like to call subtraction? Takeaway, take yes. Okay, good. We've got takeaway. So I'm going to make the takeaway now, oh, a broken pencil, orange. Okay, and what do we do to take away the one fourth? How do we usually draw that? The swoopy thing? So here we go. You see that this is the one fourth, and we're going to take that away. Take away. We're going to take away the one fourth, which is also the same thing as three twelfths. We're going to take it away. Okay, so once we take it away, I redrew the twelfths again because that's so, so time consuming. And the three twelfths are no longer there. This stuff all the way over to here is still there because we took away three twelfths from it. Okay, and it was ten twelfths minus three twelfths, which ends up with. Um, 
7 twelfths, so yeah, so 7 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. Awesome. Okay, so that's our answer is our answer or our remainder is the 7 twelfths right there. Make sure you kind of let me know that you know that this is your answer, the final thing. Some people are really picky that the 7 twelfths needs to then shift over to here. I don't care about that at all. Um, and then now that we've done this with drawings, I kind of want to do like a manipulative thing. And I guess I also want to point out what part of this do you guys think is the single most important thing to show? The takeaway is the second single most important thing to show. Yes. <laughs> what else do you guys think? Yeah. Yep. This. Doing that is like hugely important. And now I made it yellow, which is really dumb, but like make sure that you can see where those things happen. That's like super, super, super important. Um, and honestly, if you're showing this cartoon style, I should have had one more step in the beginning if it's just a, a standalone thing. Um, and I'll try to display a picture of one of those um, on the discussion board when we start this in a cartoon format. So, all right, or maybe I'll have one of the LAs write one up too. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, let me show you this now in blocks because we've done it with this and it was one fourth minus, or five six minus one fourth. So we're going to look at this. Um, I'm going to keep the question there. Five six take away one fourth. And I'm going to now just show you in blocks a way to look at it. So we've got five sixths. Boom. There's five sixths. I always like to compare it to the one. We want to take away a one fourth from it. And what happened was there was no way to take a one fourth from a five sixths because we'd have to like break that block and we can't do that. So what we did by drawing, making our five sixths into twelfths was we then had our five sixths we converted five sixths, whoops, that's not the right guy, to 10 twelfths, right there, there's 10 twelfths. And then when we have that, we can take away from the 10 twelfths a fourth. And you can tell that that's exactly the same thing as the three twelfths. So with this, we can take it away. And these guys weren't actually there. And I like to take it away by going like this and saying, look, those are the ones we now have left which is what we had left in the picture. So hopefully we'll be able to draw some cartoon versions of this on the discussion board. And literally the thing that I didn't show because this is a video and in the video, it's totally fine to not show it, but in still writing, you would need to have this blue and pink kind of up above as the first step of what you did. I hope that makes sense and we'll get to the discussion board and do some stuff and see how it goes. Um, thanks for watching.